I guess you love movies. I do too. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. And today is another Blu-ray video for you guys. Um, I've got a couple of Blu-ray pickups to talk about. Obviously, I recently did uh, a video talking about some premium Blu-rays I picked up in HMB um, for a good price because they simply weren't selling. I managed to get Can Hot Tin Roof and the Maltese Falcon. Um, so there's a video on my channel if you want to check that out. I've got several other Blu-ray videos and a Blu-ray playlist for you guys if you want to check out other uh, movies in my collection. But today I'm going to talk about two specifically. Now, for a while now, um, I haven't had any Criterion Blu-rays in my collection. Um, I've been looking at different ones I want to pick up. Obviously in the UK um, we have the issue of regions, so we don't get many region-free Criterions. If you're in America, you can get every single Criterion Blu-ray you could wish for, and it's fabulous. But here in the UK, we only get a certain amount, a small snippet of the amount that you get in America. There are actually um, European region, um, and that's kind of frustrating. So I've been looking recently at different Blu-rays I want to pick up. Obviously, the Criterion ones are a little bit more expensive. However, in the last few days, I picked up my first Criterion Blu-ray. Um, and I have it right here for you guys. So, the first one, and obviously the first Criterion Blu-ray I picked up, is His Girl Friday, Howard Hawks' amazing screwball comedy. Um, obviously, I did a review of that on my channel. Again, if you want to check that out, I'd definitely recommend it. I absolutely love this movie. Um, I think it's the best screwball comedy ever made, one of the best comedies ever made. And Cary Grant gives an absolutely brilliant performance in this film. Rosalind Russell is brilliant. The dialogue is amazing. I love this movie. Um, however, there are several other Criterion Blu-rays that I want to check out. I'll get into that a little later in this video. Um, the other Blu-ray I picked up was Spirited Away. Um, I love Spirited Away. Um, it's one of the best animated films of all time. Um, and definitely one of my favourite animated films. Um, it's just incredibly creative, beautifully animated, incredibly um, imaginative film that I really, really love and can't wait to see it again on Blu-ray because it's absolutely beautifully, beautiful looking film. Um, I definitely want to get some more Studio Ghibli movies, like um, Grave, Grave of the Fireflies, um, and like several, several others. Um, you know, Hayao Miyazaki is a master. Um, obviously, Grave of the Fireflies wasn't directed by him, but is Studio Ghibli. There's a lot of other Studio Ghibli films I want to check out and get on Blu-ray. So, obviously, as I said, there's a lot of other Criterion Blu-rays that I want to pick up. Specifically, Stalker by Tarkovsky. I haven't done any Tarkovsky movies on my channel. Um, there's something that I might do, um, an idea for a, um, a a video idea or a series idea that I might do, which is just why you should see, which is why you should see this movie. I'm probably going to do it with foreign films mainly, because I really want to get more foreign films on my channel, because I've kind of classified the classic movie review section for only American films at this point. I've done a lot of American films. So what I would like to do is do a section mainly for foreign movies. So um, you should see maybe a series that I do sooner or later to sort of integrate more foreign films in. Um, like the likes of Tarkovsky, who is a brilliant director um, and probably one of the most poetic artists in cinema. Stalker is a masterpiece. The Mirror is one of the great cryptic um, movies um, in history, it like, pushes narrative and story to its limits. Um, those are definitely movies I want to check out. The Mirror, I believe it has a Criterion release in America, but not in the UK. But uh, Stalker does, so I will be getting Stalker. Evan's Childhood does have a Criterion Blu-ray, which I really enjoyed Evan's Childhood. It's brilliantly simple, but beautiful. But it probably won't be one I pick up very soon. There are many other Criterion Blu-rays that I want to check out first before I look to get them, like La Ventura. Obviously, I talked about Antonioni in my uh, second Another 10 Directors I want to check out video. Um, again, another video for you to check out. There's so much on my channel. It's amazing. Patting myself on the back here. Um, but yeah, so there's just a few other Criterion movies I want to check out and get in the near future. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, drop your comments down in the section below. Is there any other Criterion Blu-rays or Blu-rays you think I should check out or pick up um, in the near future? If there is any maybe that I haven't heard of, then I'd really appreciate it if you drop those down in the comment section below. And hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.